headed off to on a missional adventure here for several days, leaving my beautiful wife. Praise the Lord, looking forward to an adventure and opportunities to witness as he leaves. Yesterday morning, I left where we live in Siem Reap and came to Batambong and stayed overnight, taking a right off the main road here to head down toward the jungle, Wheel Wing, on the way to Kokong, K-O-H space K-O-N-G. I've been there on a, like a van kind of bus type of thing around from the capital city the easy way and this is going through the hard way through the jungle really really hot always in Cambodia to so stop along to get water pretty frequently and and get gas and that sort of thing and then the Lord provides opportunity the Lord leads to, to share with folks flooded Cambodia This is some of the most beautiful scenery I've seen in Cambodia. Praise the Lord. That's what happens when somebody's motorbike stops working here. I saw a guy back there and he had a smaller bike than I have, but he said, turn around, turn around, go back, you can't make it, type of thing. So um, if I had my wife with me, I would turn around, but it's just me, so I'm gonna take the risk and trust the Lord. and. So far it doesn't look so bad, so if it starts to look undoable, maybe I'll think twice. It won't be so crazy, but but I trust that the Lord led here for a reason and he'll get me through. Okay, it's pretty crazy up here. Pretty rough here, like slippery clay on an uphill. And my challenge here is the... the uh, clearance with a small bike it can easily get hung up got stuck get stuck in the middle there so i'm kind of trying to be prayerfully strategic which way is the best which path is the best well that guy was right when he said <laughs> when he very strongly implied it would be a big challenge it's been some ups and downs here wow pretty horrendous uh Praise the Lord for getting me this far. These guys are kind of helping to encourage from behind. This is the part where I begin to doubt myself. Not the Lord, but myself. In my own uh, sanity. Did I dream up this on my own or was it really the Lord leading? So I told my wife at the beginning of this trip that this would be one of those ones where I would get through it by the Lord's grace and look back and think, oh, it was amazing, I, I'll never forget it, but I will never do it again. I had so many of those experiences in recent years. And so, praise the Lord for adventure. Halfway through, 20 kilos, about uh, 40 kilos total, so 20 and 20, about halfway through, too late to turn back. <laughs> Here we go. Coming down out of the mountains here. Beautiful and pouring down rain still. So. The Lord delivered me nine years ago, almost ten years ago, from my old life. It gave me new life and, and new interests. And one of the interests was getting back out into the woods, even more so than I was before when I was younger. And spend some time out here and it, it just, you can hear from the Lord and, and seek Him on things and pray about things. Sometimes things come to mind much more clearly when there's peace around you so i think it's very helpful but very beneficial to kind of break away periodically and i think the lord has has done a lot for me through it down out of the mountain here came from this way came out to a paved road here praise the lord never thought i'd be so thankful to see pavement 
looks like that's the direction we're headed, Kokong province. And I think we are about 48 kilos from there. So that would be roughly oh, 20 some miles. Praise the Lord. Da -da -da -da, here we go. Last chapter of today's journey.